In this video, we'd like to take a quick look at Office 365 Cloud PBX call queues and how call queues are an integral part of Attendant Pro for Skype for Business. We often get several two questions. One is, how do we ring more than one receptionist when someone dials a phone number? And number two, how do we configure this? Well, the way to do it is using the Office 365 Cloud PBX call queue functionality that allows you to s define Skype for Business users that will ring when someone dials a phone number. We'll demonstrate how this functionality looks inside Attendant Pro. So we'll get a caller to call in and, uh, and then we'll take, we'll note the uh, the, and there we have a call that's coming in. They're dialing a phone number <clears throat> and a call queue, Office 365 call queue, is sending that call to Attendant Pro. Calls in the queue will show up in incoming calls. If there's more than one, they'll just keep stacking up. And we can easily take a look and see that this call is coming from the service group call queue. We can answer that. And then the call drops down here into current call, and then we can handle it by, by simply clicking on a contact. But before I do that, you can notice that there is, you can see who made, who called in and what their phone number was. And you can transfer it in several different ways, of course. So why don't we just transfer that to Wendell? All right, we'll pull a, pull a call queue call in again. And um, a couple things we'll notice. Uh, Attendant Pro allows you to very easily handle the call. Just select the destination of where you want the call to go to. It also brings call recording. This call is being recorded automatically. The user doesn't, all, the, all that needs to be done is just pick the phone up. Another thing that Attendant Pro will allow you to do is communication enable business processes where when a call comes in it can pop up relevant information about that caller and this can be driven by phone number the caller name or the call queue that called in and more so how do we configure a call queue an office 365 uh, cloud pbx call queue let's take a look at that so where you go to configure a new call queue is um, you, of course, log into Office 365, go to the Skype for Business Admin Center, and then go to Call Routing, Call Queues, and Add New. And when you do that, you're going to see a, a couple things. And there's only a few things in the call queue configuration that are real significant. Of course, one is the name, and you notice that in Attendant Pro or the Skype for Business client. That is what you will see. Uh, when you call in and then you want to assign a phone number uh, that you configured prior um, and uh, you need to select a domain uh, where the users will be that the users that you want to ring will be coming from um, you can also set up a, a greeting that you want so hello landis technologies and uh, just hang on a moment and then the next thing that the incoming caller will hear is music on hold. Once again, you can also configure, upload an audio file to configure that. And then probably the most important thing is what call agents will be in this, uh, what, which call agents will be rung. And the way they are added to a call queue is by cre priorly, or before creating a distrib exchange distri distribution uh, list and putting the Skype for business users that you want to ring. You can have more than one distribution list. You cannot configure them from here. You have to go over into Exchange to do that. It's uh, Most administrators will be familiar with that. And uh, do note that you can have more than one distribution list. So you can add more than one distribution list if you uh, that's how you have your users configured. Of course, there's some things like what do you want the maximum calls to be in the queue until uh, something, you know, they're handled different forward to user or disconnect with a busy. 
Uh, it seems like the disconnect with the busy would be a little abrupt, but, and then how long do, do you want someone to wait in a queue if they're in there longer than 20 minutes or whatever you configure? Uh, what do you want to happen? Once again, disconnect or forward to user and then click save. And uh, so that way you can configure multiple attendants to answer calls. Uh, and uh, so there you have it. How call queues integrate with Attendant Pro and how to configure a call queue. Thanks for listening.